In 100 years, we're all going to be ancestors. We're going to be gone. Maybe your children's children will be sitting here. What are they going to know about Pikani? What are you going to teach them about who we are? I want to travel. I want to get off the res. I want to do all this stuff, but I still want to stay home. It comes back to family. I want to stay close to my family. Our home right here is all our kids' home. It'll always be our kids and grandkids' home. We raised like six kids together, and we got tons of grandkids. We call ourselves Natsita Puppy, meaning real people. We're the real people up here. And the Creator created us right here. Our tribe is like a rope. There's continuums that we want to preserve. As soon as we got married, I just woke up one morning and said, I'm going to quit drinking. And she told me, I will too. There are young kids still getting that education, but yet they're still holding on to what they believe. And it can be done. Our heritage, our history, our religions imprinted in our language. And to understand fully what we are as a Blackfeet people is in within our language. We still have the songs and the ceremonies, and we still try today, we try our hardest to keep these things going so that our people can prosper. We've been starved, we've been beat, we've been told we were not Indian no more. We're like coyotes. <laughs> <laughs> coyotes, they can bounce back so fast, I mean, you know, one minute on your property, you think you got the last one, and <laughs> A month later, there's a hundred of them right back there. They got tough resilience. <laughs>